Hello, bonjour. So today we are continuing. It's part two of um, what we did last week. Last week I showed you my recipe, my amazing uh, ganache cake. So today what we'll do is continue on all the ingredients that are in that cake. And they're all whole foods and they're all so beneficial and so healthy for us. So, and that is the important part, right? And, you know, it, it, nutritious sweets do exist. It depends the ingredients that go in it. And certainly what I, you know, in that recipe that I've given you last week, it's all healthy ingredients. It absolutely is fantastic. So for who is actually maybe looking at this show for the first time, uh, so I'm referring to last week, <clears throat> I did uh, cacao, versus co cacao versus cocoa. And in there, there is a recipe for my cake. And today I'm sharing the rest of the ingredients and all the health benefits that are in those ingredients. <clears throat> I haven't spoken to someone this morning. I have a bit of a, <laughs> my throat is not clear. So um, to who doesn't know me, my name is Agathe Mathieu. I'm a living cuisine chef, which is known as raw food, but I think living cuisine sounds more delicious. <laughs> so I use that term. Um, eating this way for 19 years, uh, it's amazing, gives me energy. And as you can see my hands, I had arthritis within three months of starting eating this way, gone, totally gone, never came back. Looks like I have it, well, my, my fingers are twisted, but no pain, no inflammation, no swelling. You can see I can close my hands, I can open jars. <laughs> None of the bad um, effects of the arthritis, it's all gone. And um, so today, yes, we'll talk about those other ingredients in, in the cake and you'll see how amazing it is amazing amazing it is you can see also in my background that's what i did is i just put uh, out there what uh, are those ingredients are you can see the coconut you can see at the top th those are the cashews that we they grow in the trees and then the cashew is just there at the end to be picked it's just amazing they have to shell them and everything and then what you see below is the um, coconut shell they made those beautiful bowls just beautiful gorgeous actually i was absolutely uh, totally, I didn't know, but the coconut tree, there isn't a part of it that is not used. Every single part of it is for something. I'll tell you a little bit later. It's just pretty, pretty awesome. Okay, so, uh, and then at the top there, just underneath my uh, logo are the dates, of course. Um, so, yes, so continue on with the cacao versus cocoa. Um, so today, let's talk about the other ingredients that are uh, in the cake recipe. And I'll suggest, I'll suggest alternatives as possible, when possible. So it's not like you have to use just those ingredients, because some people say, I cannot have cashews, what can I do? So here we go. We're starting with cashews. I'll tell you that in a second. So cashews are often used to make desserts. When we make desserts in uh, living cuisine, we use a white nut and we will use uh, cashews or macadamia in the creamy part of the dessert. So cashews, and, and that's what it is, is when you think of how do you transfer from um, omnivores, so animal uh, products to uh, plant product. And cashews and macadamia make a beautiful creamy texture. And that's what we need in the cake. And then uh, I use walnuts and almonds when I make my burger pate, uh, because uh, uh, with the seasoning, it's just, it's it's to live for, it's so delicious. I use uh, chickpeas to make the falafel. So you see what I mean? So we, we, we well, chickpeas and the falafel are there already. What am I talking about? <laughs> but the, uh, yeah, the, the, the walnuts and the almonds can replace the meat, as well as when I do the nori, I use almonds with carrots, lemon juice and celery and seasoning to make the seafood type of taste. Okay, so cashews, as you can see, they're a kidney shaped uh, seed sourced from the cashew tree. It's a tropical tree that native to Brazil, but now it's cultivated uh, in warm climates around the world. So it's, it's, it's in many, many places. And I will uh, share with you because it's fascinating as well for the cashew, everything that can be, uh, uh, how it can be used in so many different ways. Just a minute, I don't want to, I need to move my, um, I'm getting better at this. I need to get to my share button. It's here. I think I can. Yes, I can. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm going to bring up that document here. 
So, um, and then I'll do this as well. So you can, you don't have to look at what's behind. So you see the cashew, uh, well, uh, first of all, there you go. The cashew is just that little bit there at the end of the fruit that they harvest and then they shell it and then they, um, you know, uh, dry it, steam it, it depends on the process. Uh, when it's raw food, it's actually, they use a blade and they cut open, it's all done by hand. They wash them very well because there is a substance in, on it that is like, um, it, it, it could be toxic. So they wash that off and then it's sun dried. Uh, otherwise the other cashews that are not raw are being uh, steamed and, 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 and dried as well. But with cashews, you can do cream, you can do medicine, yogurt, cream is here or skin cream and cream as well. Cheese, milk, oil, butter, butter, Ingredients for you know in recipes, uh, snacks, biofuel. So that's with the shell and oil. And I, I guess the oil comes also at this stage here. Uh, it's not in the nut. Look at that. The oil comes from the shell. There you go. So isn't it interesting? Like I I just love doing what I'm doing now with you today because I learned so many things. Uh, it's I just love it. Okay, let's continue. So um, although commonly referred as a tree nuts and nutritionally comparable to them, cashews are really their seeds. And actually, you know what? Almonds are seeds as well, because when I sprout them, they go. <laughs> so it's interesting what they're saying. It's from Elf line. I like to take the information from there. Like most nuts, cashews may also help improve your overall health. They've been linked to benefit like weight loss improve blood sugar control and better health. And now you might say, what do you mean weight loss? Nuts are fat, aren't they? It's always a type of fat. So what happens with the cashew is in, it's rich in unsaturated fat and a category of fat linked to a lower risk of premature death and heart disease. So you see in the food, there are so many medicinal uh, effects at the same time that you're eating something absolutely delicious. Uh, I, I yet have to find someone who doesn't like the taste of cashew. <laughs> Some people cannot eat them, unfortunately. And I would say if you have a problem with eating them, and I don't mean if you know you have to use an ippy pen, don't 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 listen to me now. But if it's just causing you a little bit of discomfort, eat whole cashews rather than the pieces. So uh, they are um, when the nutrients is kept intact. And if you eat raw cashews, even better. They are low in sugar. They are a source of fiber and contain almost the same amount of protein as an equivalent quantity of cooked meat. Imagine that. So uh, yeah, the protein part, right? Oh, where do you get your protein? I've been asked that so many times. Look, I've been eating this way for 19 years. I can lift 50 pound boxes. I have my cafe for eight years. So you gotta, you gotta lift those cases. So, you know, I'm strong. Uh, yeah, so no problem. Protein coming from a plant source is just as good as animal protein. And, um, and it has all, <clears throat> it has all sorts of uh, nutrients. <clears throat> Look at me again. I've got this funny throat. <clears> throat. I should, I should speak to my neighbor before I do my show or speak to myself. <laughs> so I clear that. Um, I was up this, since 5.30 this morning. I don't know why it's happening. Let me just take a little sip of water here. Maybe that'll go away. <clears throat> nice. <clears throat> Talking about water, this is water with lemon juice. So I learned this weekend, it was from um, Anthony Williams, um, medical medium. Water, if you were to drink it out of the spring coming out of the earth, it still has life force in it because, it, you know, it's drilling. That sort of thing. It's moving. When we take it from the tap, it's inert. So if you add lemon juice to it, then uh, the life in the lemon juice makes it alive as well. And I have it in a bottle. And as you can see, I shake it around like this. So it's like the same movement that you would get in the water. You know, when you have plants in the water, they, they twirl around like this. I don't know if there is a direction they're going, maybe not, they just move. <laughs> so that's the same idea. So uh, in addition, cashews contain a significant amount of copper, a mineral essential for energy production healthy brain development, a strong immune system. We want that, right, with what's going on. Uh, they're also a great source of magnesium and manganese and nutrients important for bone health. So, and you know, earlier I was comparing to meat. 
you don't find that in meat. That's that's my point. So you eat protein with nutrients. Um, nuts and seeds are considered antioxidant powerhouses, and cashews are no exception. Antioxidants. It's it's in everything that I talk about. There's always antioxidants somewhere because it's great. There are beneficial plant compounds that keep your body healthy for neutralizing damage-causing molecules known as free radicals. That's what causes havoc in the body. And in turn, this helps reduce inflammation and increases your body's ability to stay healthy and free from disease. So you're, you know, you're helping your body by eating whole foods, clean, organic, of course, always ideal, because otherwise you're eating pesticides, herbicides, uh, you know, <laughs> side, 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 something, grow, grow, uh, grow, uh, growth regulator. They just have a whole bunch of things in there, GMO. So yeah, ideally you don't touch that. So cashew are a rich source of polyphenols and carotenoids, two classes of antioxidants also found in other three nuts. So nuts are also rich in protein and fiber, which are known to reduce hunger and promote feelings of fullness, both of which can further promote weight loss. So here's the key, nuts are delicious. So they can promote weight loss. So when you eat the nut, they, um, they, they digest slowly in the body, so, so you feel full longer, but then don't keep eating. <laughs> and when you chew, chew your nuts. Like, just don't, like, you know, maybe break them and swallow. No, 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 chew them. Chew them so that they are like so small little bits in your mouth before you swallow. And that way you, your brain has the time to say, hey, okay, you had enough, you can stop now. Your stomach also has the time to tell you, okay, I'm full. <laughs> Soaking your nuts overnight before adding them to dishes will help reduce their phytic content and improve their digestibility. So in another show, I talked about how it, it, it does that. It, uh, soaking the nuts is really helpful because it will, um, it, 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 it will yeah, like clean off the toxins and make it you know more easily digestible. So definitely do that with with all nuts. I don't do that with the macadamia because they're not as creamy after. But um, yeah, do it with the nuts definitely, and you can sprout the almonds right. And keep in mind that roasted or salted cashews can contain high level of added oil or salt. You know what they do, right? So the industry, what it does is that when it puts a product on the market. It makes sure you're going to like it. And how they do that? They have on their staff people who are specializing in credibility. They literally play with the salt, the oil, and the sugar. That when it hits your tongue, it's like, mm, I want more of that. And then you overeat. And, and, and you're not eating just the product because salt, fat, and sugar are level two. So in a sense that they're not whole foods. They've been an extractor. You don't want to eat much of that. Desiccated coconut is another ingredient that I use. It's in the crust of the cake and is an ingredient in the crust and could be replaced by walnuts or sprouted sunflower seeds. Um, you can play with that if you don't want to have the coconut in there. But let me tell you about coconut. You might not know. There's so many good things about it. And when you purchase your coconut, look for desiccated coconut. It might be called shredded coconut. Or be careful and read the label that it does not say added um, apple apple juice they do that they sweeten it it's already sweetened so just just plain this just plain coconut that has uh, meat that has been dehydrated that's what you want so coconut oil can simply be taken out uh, of the cake uh, so i'm talking about the coconut oil here it can also the, the oil can be taken out of the cake of the dessert that i do what happens with the oil as you know as you can imagine when it cools cools down it, uh, it, 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 it hardens, so it helps to keep the, the shape of the cake. So if you don't use it, it might not be as firm, um, but you, you can do that or use as little as possible. I mean, I don't use much anyway to start with. So in the cake, there are 50 gram of the 625 gram total for the cake. So it's, it's very, it's little. Um, coconut is the fruit of the coconut palm uh, tree, which is commonly used for its water, milk, oil, and tasty meat. So, and then something I'd like you to know, I have to look at the time. I always talk over, <laughs> I might not have time to go through all what I have to say again today. So the green coconut, they're the same variety as the brown. 
they're just uh, the area ones you might be more familiar with. You don't see, we don't see the green as much because um, they just don't make it here. If you live in 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 part of the world where they grow those trees, that they're, they're easy to have. But here, the travel time makes it so that they usually cut the outside when it comes in. They're called young coconut, but you don't see the green outside anymore. So the green coconut are young and not completely ripened, while the brown ones are fully mature. So this is also something to know where you have coconut water. If you're not as keen on the taste of the, the one that came out from the, the, the brown one, the more mature one, know to then find coconut water that is from the young coconut, okay? Coconut are especially high in manganese, which is essential for bone health and the metabolism of carbohydrate, protein, and cholesterol. They're rich in copper and iron, which help form the red blood cells, as well as selenium, antioxidant that protects your cells. So you see, it's, it's, it's medicinal, it's medicinal. Much of the fat of coconut is in the form of medium triglyceride MCT. You might have heard of the MCT. It's a different type of fat and it's absorbing uh, them different, directly from your small intestine and rapidly used for energy. So it doesn't go into storage like fat. Uh, oil, there is an expression that Dr. Furman uses. Um, the olive oil is from your lips to your hips. <laughs> it just goes in store right there, but not the MCT. So um, the MCT is shown to increase and release two hormones that can promote the feeling of fullness in the body, uh, the peptide and the leptin. So there you go. And lastly, uh, your gut environment is very important when it comes to your weight. MCT oil uh, may help optimize the growth of good bacteria and support the gut lining. So it's excellent for that. Um, it's an antibacterial effect. You might have heard of oil pooling. So you liquefy the coconut oil and you put a little bit in your mouth and you swish it, swish it, swish it around. You might have heard of that because it's an ancient practice that involves swishing oil in your mouth to remove bacteria and promote oral hygiene. It's very good for your teeth. And coconut are low carbs and high in fiber and fat, which may be beneficial for blood sugar control. It helps lower blood sugar level, which uh, may be due to anti-inflammatory properties and antioxidant content. Now, you might have noticed that since the beginning, because I've I taken my information from Healthline, when it comes to uh, natural medicine, food, those terms are used a lot, may do this and may do that. And this is a protection so that people don't uh, come and sue the company for saying, you said it was to do that, but it isn't. We don't see that in the pharmaceutical. They don't have to use the may do this and may do that. They just say they do things. It's unfortunate, isn't it? So what I invite you to do is that if you decide, hey, I'm gonna try this oil pooling. So you can only imagine that if your mind, when you start this and you go, I don't think it's gonna do anything, don't bother, don't do it because your brain is telling your body, I don't believe in it. And your brain is acting is like, it's, 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 it's putting the negative. So don't, just don't do it. If you're to do oil pulling, you go, hey, I read that it can really help with my mouth hygiene. Let's do that. Then you, you, you have a positive answer, a positive um, outcome. I mean, it's been, like it says, you know, it's, it's, it's an ancient practice. Our, our ancestors knew how to use nature to support their health. We lost track of that because we were told, oh, it's just convenient. You just take this from the, the, the drugstore or you know, this out of a pill, this out of a tube, this out. Back then they didn't have that. So they used nature and they, were, they, have, they have reference for nature. They were really grateful for nature to provide them with all those very useful um, ingredients and medicine. Okay, let's continue. Uh, the high fiber content in coconut meat can also help slow suggestion, uh, sorry, slow <laughs> digestion and may potentially improve insulin resistance. So, you know, we're talking about type 2 diabetes here for sure. So coconut meat contains phenolic compounds, which are antioxidant and can help protect cells from oxidative damage. I said that earlier. Now, listen to this. There's just a list. It's just an, an incredible. Well, you know, we can have the coconut water. You know that. The coconut oil, you know that. Uh, the the cooking oil and pulling and moisturizer, it's all in the oil. The, we can do coconut milk and coconut cream. Uh, desiccated coconut, I talked about. Coconut flour, which is desiccated coconut that is grounded up to a flour. 
the coconut shell, I, well, you can see my background, aren't they just gorgeous, those bowls? Just gorgeous. So they make beautiful bowls. They can use, be used for fuel for firewood. Uh, the coconut husk, husk, sorry, or core, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, C-O-I-R, uh, can be used to make ropes, flooring, doormats, brushes, mattresses, padding, upholstery, firewood. Coconut leaves, leaves or frowns used to make shelter, like you know those thatched roof, they can be used for that as a broom and basket. Uh, coconut roots, they, they, the, the fiber, they use it to make toothbrushes. And if they boil, they can boil the, the, the roots to create a dye and medicine, of course, and mouthwash. And coconut flour, there's a nectar. And so it really is a place where find sugar. You boil the sap to make alcohol or vinegar. The coconut trunk is used as lumber when the trees stop producing. So it isn't a thing, not one thing that is lost from the coconut tree. It's just remarkable, remarkable, remarkable. And uh, those beautiful bowls I have behind me, they come from jungleculture.eco. You can go on their website and find them there. Um, I'm sure if you do um, coconut bowls, they might come up as well. Beautiful bowls. Um, the next one is our dates. So dates are the fruit of the date palm tree, which is grown in many tropical regions of the world. Um, it's almost, and, and did you know that seven grams, with almost seven grams of fiber, in a 3.5 ounces serving includes diet in your diet is a great way to increase your fiber intake. So by eating a date, you increase your fiber intake. By eating with refined sugar, you get nothing. There is nothing in refined sugar, nothing. No nutrients, zilch, nothing. So the date. The fiber in date may be beneficial for blood sugar control. Fiber slows digestion and may help prevent blood sugar levels from spiking too high after eating. So because when you eat with fiber, that's what happens. Instead of the food going, it, it, it slows down and then you feel full longer. You, and then the body has time to really extract the, you know, the, the nutrients from the food. Eat, eat food with fiber. And for this reason, our dates have a low glycemic index, which measures how quickly your blood sugar rises after eating. So again, type 2 diabetes, right? Date provides various antioxidants that have a number of health benefits to offer, including a reduced risk of several diseases. So the antioxidant in dates are flavonoids, flavonoid, that are powerful antioxidants that may help reduce inflammation, uh, risk of uh, diabetes, Alzheimer. Uh, it's a brain boosting also, we increase memory and learning abilities. Look at that, it's a sweet way to, <laughs> to increase our learning abilities, I love that. Carotin, carotinoids ooh, la, la, are proven to promote heart health and may also reduce the, uh, the risk of eye-related disorder, hmm. such as muscular degeneration. There you go. So sweeten with dates. Forget the processed sugar or the refined sugar. Phenolic acid knows that anti-inflammatory properties. Phenolic acid may help the risk of cancer and heart diseases. Amazing, amazing. And something I didn't know, uh, it's just fascinating. It may promote, the, the, promote natural labor. Actually, a friend of mine just gave birth and, and, and yeah, she wasn't dilating enough. And they offered at the hospital to give her oxytocin in the form of a pill. Well, it's in the dates, it's in the dates. So that's why I'm telling you, our ancestors knew about all that stuff and they were using all that stuff. So the role dates may have in pregnancy, again, it's alpine, so they gotta be a may. <laughs> may have in pregnancy is likely used due to compounds that bind the to oxytocin receptors and appears to mimic the effect of oxytocin in the body. So oxytocin is a hormone that causes labor contractions during childbirth. In addition, it dates contains tannins, which are compounds that have been shown to help facilitate contraction. They're also a good source of natural sugar and calories, which is necessary to maintain energy levels during labor. Yeah. I had three children. It's useful that you have your energy, no kidding. So it's an excellent natural sweetener. And you see, that's what I did at my cafe. And you'll see later, I'll show you my website. All my desserts are sweetened with dates. All of them, all of them. I, I, do, I do have a bit of maple syrup in the macadamia cream. I, I like little when I use it. Otherwise, all dates. And it's very simple. Use a scale. I, you know, use cups if you like, but it's easier to repeat 
once you found you found your texture that you like, it's easier to repeat it when you use a scale because you use grams. So you don't have to go, oh, do I pack the dates? You know, or do they cut? How do I cut them? You just put dates in the blender and you add your water. So same dates of uh, a certain weight of dates and purified water, and you blend. Make sure that you cover your blade of your blender. So because otherwise the dates will just spin underneath the blade, right? So you just have to make a quantity that is enough to cover the blades of your uh, blender. And then you make, uh, I call it a date syrup. They call it a date base. So, and you use that to sweeten. And uh, you do a one-to-one. -one. So if you were to add one tablespoon in a recipe of uh, granulated sugar, uh, refined sugar, you add one tablespoon of uh, the date syrup. And you know you can adjust after if you find it's not sweet enough. But and you can use that to sweeten anything, because you see dates they have a they have a mild flavor which is very uh, lovely actually. So it doesn't fight with what you put. I find that honey is a little tricky. It's quite strong as a flavor, so it could be tricky and 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 kind of fight with the other you know like especially when I do lucuma parfait. Lucuma is a very also delicate flavor. So if I was to use something too strong it will overpower the lucuma. I want the lucuma the taste of the lucuma to come out. And they say the other uh potential health benefit oh my gosh 1126 hola uh, the bone health, I'm, I'm not going to give a detail. I just say bone health, blood sugar control, as we said. It's easy to add to your diet, right? And, uh, oh, no, okay, that's good. I have time. What am I talking about? I have time. <laughs> so let's go back. Bone health. Dates contain seven minerals, including phosphorus, potassium, calcium, magnesium. All of these have been studied for their potential to prevent bone-related condition like osteoporosis. So, you know, you have a sweet tooth. Just grab one. One day, chew it, take the time to really chew it and savor it, and then you're good. You're not going for that chocolate bar that is made with refined sugar or you know other things they add in it. <laughs> um, blood sugar control. Dates have the potential to help with blood sugar regulation due to their own uh, their low glycemic index, fiber, and antioxidant. Thus, eating them may benefit diabetes management, like we talked earlier. It's easy to add to your diet. Uh, you know, they're sticky, so if you need to do something that needs to stick together, when you do like those, um, uh, uh, what are they call those balls, those energy balls. So it's, it's, it's great for that. Uh, they're easy to combine, as I say, because they don't have a strong taste that come and fight with what you're working with. Now make sure about snacks. It's something they really encourage us to eat snacks and it's best not to. So um, eat as a dessert, as a, you know, but yeah, don't overdo it. And uh, you can use dates to sweeten sauces, dressing, like I do. I mean, my dressing, I do the same thing. So let me just, I'll show you now. I have the time. There we go. I'm just going to move that to the side. I will just show you my website. Oh, here we are. Beautiful. My website here. And you'll see, this is my website. You come at the top. Then it talks about what I teach during my classes. And then you have an ebook here that is free with recipes. And here you have that beautiful, you know, film strip of all the dishes. Here you have that gorgeous cake I was talking about in, in, uh, in uh, last week. And the ingredients I talked about today that go in it. And so all the, and I have, of course, I have a, a, a section for desserts. I teach desserts. And all desserts are sweetened with dates all of them. And you know, at my uh, cafe, I had uh, customers who had uh, diabetic, they were diabetic, loved to come to my cafe. It was like, yes, I can eat everything on the menu. <laughs> they were so happy. So um, use dates. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't spike. I don't know if I mentioned that, but it uh, dates uh, because of the, I can't remember where it is, but anyway, my customer were able, diabetic customer were able to eat my desserts. They were thrilled to bits. So just, just, just remember. I mean, you, you must, have, you must have heard that already. A healthy woman, a healthy man, has a thousand dreams. What we tell their health only has one. When we're not healthy, all we want is let me be healthy, so I can do what I would like. So you, you know, you're older, you're retired, and then you can go and on trips and on hikes and on gatherings and on exercising and on. You can do all sorts of things. You prepare that now, you know, when, and, and you look, even if you're older, I started eating this way at 45 years old. So, you know, I, I go 19 years, I'm without any pain, I hate the pain. I don't wake up in the morning, uh, 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 not at all. <laughs> no information whatsoever. 
So one might say, but I guess it's too difficult. It's too many changes. My children, my partner won't like it. It's not convenient. How convenient is it? If anyone in your family might be sick, might have issues with their skin, might might be tired, same thing, right? Like when you don't eat live food, your the red blood cells they clog together. They're not bouncing around. You don't have the negative charge. You don't have the life that we have in the food. We've been given one body. That body is capable of maintaining perfect health when given clean, organic whole foods. That body of ours is even capable of reversing illnesses like it did for me. And start today to invest in your wealth of health, saving accounts. Save yourself and your loved ones of aches and pain and illnesses. Live to thrive, leave a health legacy. Lots of love to you all. And we will see you again next week. Uh, all the very best and enjoy that cake. It's healthy, you can have it. We'll see you soon.